Hello there everyone, welcome back to Arts Authority. Today we will discuss about the topic Can Arts Eat Rice? In this video we will discuss about this topic in detail so let's start the video. Arts can eat rice in cooked and uncooked forms to obtain carbohydrates. However, it is not considered safe because these grains can cause an explosion in the art stomach due to water absorption as they expand in size. These grains are known to kill insects as they absorb moisture from their bodies and pose a risk to their survival after expansion. They can be used as natural killers to avoid harmful chemicals. Ants can get attracted to food sources that provide a sufficient quantity of nutrition to these tiny insects. As a result, they can help revive energy instantly and improve their performance. They can become active after consuming a few rice grains, which are heavily loaded with carbohydrates, having smaller quantities of dietary fiber and sugar. Small quantities of proteins are also present. As 100 gram of these grains contain almost 2.5 to 2.8 gram of protein, while the amount of carbohydrates is around 27 to 29 gram. In addition, these grains also contain minor proportions of vitamins C, D, and B6, calcium, magnesium, and iron. These elements are essential for developmental processes and growth. These grains are also a good source of sodium or potassium and lake cholesterol. In addition, both raw and cooked forms are rich sources of carbohydrates that can help fulfill their body requirements. So they cannot resist the pleasing odor of grains and come to get their food particularly when they are cooked and leave an attractive aroma in the air. The ants can easily carry the rice grains by loading particles on their back and loading them to the nest. They do not find any problem carrying at least 50 times their weight. However, these insects prefer to coordinate for carrying the bigger grains if they cannot lift or push them alone. A few insects can load it on their backs and keep it inside the storage chamber. Moreover, they can break the grain into many parts and make them equal to the size that can be easily carried to the nest. Their mandibles help them chew the grains and reduce their size. The nursing workers try to break the larger food particles into tiny parts. These smaller particles are consumed for nutrients by these nursing members as they have to feed digested food. Furthermore, these members regurgitate the stored grains and feed the larvae to transfer the nutrients to the colony members. You have to stop ants from getting inside the serving dish as serving the food with a few crawling insects to the guests look awful. You can prevent contamination by covering food properly. Moreover, these insects can also get inside the jar of uncooked rice if you have not stored them in an airtight container. These tiny creatures do not need a large hole for entry. A small space is enough for their tiny bodies to pass through and carry food particles. It is better to keep a few bay leaves in the cabinet where the jars are stored as their earthy smell irritates these insects. Basil leaves can also work well due to their spicy smell. Furthermore, apply some oil or petroleum jelly on the jar's outer surface to make climbing difficult for these tiny insects. It is not possible for them to maintain a firm grip on such a surface. It is not challenging to deal with ants in a rice bag as you can use natural repellents to force them to move out of the bag. Then open the bag, put a few cinnamon sticks inside the bag and wait. Getting a rice bag free of ants can take a few hours, but cinnamon's strong odor irritates them and these insects leave. In the same way, neem leaves and basil leaves can also work. Add 8 to 10 neem or basil leaves to the bag to repel these nuisance pests. You can also use garlic cloves as they have a strong repelling odor and irritate them. Furthermore, after removing these insects, you should use an airtight container to prevent future infestation as they can sneak through narrow spaces. Thanks for watching the video.